Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. It's an October, the month of the witches, the month of Halloween. And I'm coming today to share with you a gift, uh, freebies, which will be active for 48 hours. So if you are interested to get this freebie, it's for trick or treat uh, box. And it's this coffin box with some other stuff, uh, some uh, tags and mini tags and number. And you can use these uh, in your journal as well. So if you are interested to get these, click on the link down below. It will be active for 48 hours. After that, it will be active only on my Patreon. And it will continue through the October. In the end, from all those freebies, we can create some journal. So today it will be this trick or treat coffin box. Uh, I did print out on A4 size. The design is also on A4 size uh, printing paper. I used 300 GSM cardstock and it's nice and sturdy, very heavy cardstock. I'm gonna fussy cut out all these images. I did fussy cut out everything. I'm gonna grab the ruler and my scoring tool. I'm gonna move these small things and I'm gonna be using this tool. Uh, it had, does have a ball on the end and it's perfect for scoring uh, small lines, you know, without scoring board. So I'm gonna grab this tool and with a ruler, I'm gonna score every single of these lines on the coffin to make sure I can fold it then easily. So every single line I'm going to score with this, also these small lines for the folds to make sure that putting together this mini box will be easy for me. If you don't have tool like this, you can always use non-sharp edge of your scissors like with this one but uh, do not put it this way but just slide it or you can use kitchen knife and with that end or maybe tweezers and either with this end kind of this way or with this end just try to have a look what you've got or if you do have knitting needles so some small size of knitting needle will be very helpful as well so go to have a look what kind of tool you can use and score with me all these lines even these small ones I think I was already here So we're gonna score and last one it's this closure now I'm gonna fold everything or pre-fold everything to check if I did all that oh here I forgot the cat look at me aha uh -huh. uh -huh. I forgot so fold everything to make sure you will have easy work to put it together And if you want, you can distress <coughs> all the edges. Today I'm gonna be using uh, Spectrum Noir distress uh, Spectrum Noir uh, dyed ink, and this is water reactive. And the name of this ink it's Smoked Pearl. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. Uh, the print you can see here. Uh, it will comes in another video this month. So. 
put the notification bell if you didn't have it yet on my channel just put that, that notification bell to make sure you will receive these freebies through the month I think it's dirty enough <laughs> I'm gonna add that distress ink on the edges all around on this side as well and I may will add also a little bit of ground espresso to give there a small amount of brown ink so I do have distressed everything and we can start to put uh, this coffin together uh, all these small flaps are used to hold a glue there is small writing that glue belongs here 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 on all these small flaps this one I'm using as a closing uh, closing fold so I'm not gonna put the glue in there add the glue to the folds and start to glue it together hold hold so all these small flaps will help you to glue the coffin box always make sure that you hold in it for a long time in, uh, for time long enough that it will hold these large tags uh, they can fit inside in that coffin so you can use them to write a message or maybe invitation for a Halloween party and place them inside or as I said you can use any kind uh, any of these digitals in your journal and use them as a decoration in your journal so now I'm gonna put the glue here and here and with this easy steps You have created cute little coffin so you can close it with this fold inside and you do have your small little coffin oh come here like this and it looks like this from the other side here on that number 31 you can use the uh, glossy accent and let it dry and then you will have really very visible that number 31 and if you do have really good hand and you can go in small areas as well uh, here is October so you can put that glossy accent in that October as well and I, I do believe it will look amazing we do have skeleton here with his hand we do have gorgeous skeleton here this is a dog skeleton and here is the hand of his master so he was sitting on the tree so we do have that here and this is how the coffin looks from these sides so now these small tags you can place them inside and you can make decorations from these small tags or you can use the one tag as a hanging tag and place it inside and on that tag you can hang everything else so these numbers can be glued anywhere on your coffin or inside maybe when you open it you can place them here with the small tag October but I would like to make them as decoration so I'm gonna use this as my holding tag in all of them I'm gonna punch the hole so in these I will fit the eyelet and these small ones I will hang just just with the thread I think 
so I'm gonna fix the eyelids. And I hope you are getting ready for your Halloween. I do have here my little friend. This one he is amazing. Look at that work. I found this school on Amazon. <laughs> it's such a good work. I will put link down below for those who want to have a look. And these I do have for many years. I found them when I was on a car boot, uh, car boot market here uh, close to Rodrem. And they are just such a beauty. So I do have him, them for many years. So I do have <coughs> eyelids fixed. So for fitting my little mini tucks to that coffin, I'm going to be using this Broadway Hotel from Salem, this mini tuck to fit uh, my tax inside. Uh, I stamped from the other side uh, with my stamps. I'm gonna put a glue on the bottom of this mini tag and glue it here to that top from inside and I make a nice position in the middle Like this, and while it's drying, I'm gonna take a piece of cheesecloth. I do have piece of cheesecloth right here, and I'm gonna rip small part which will fit inside to that coffin. <coughs> I do have piece of cheesecloth right here. Yes, I'm gonna make it a little bit dirty. Using my distress ink, I'm gonna add here and there just a just a little bit of color. And to place it into that coffin, I'm gonna take glue and glue that cheesecloth inside. Just to place it there. Like this, it doesn't have to be amazing. Maybe I can even kind of fold it. Okay, I do have, I think, glued my tag. I can fold it over the edge here to make sure I will have first fold done. So this way. Now I can close this and fold it over. And here I'm gonna be using this beautiful black chain. Sorry for that. So that chain I'm gonna put through that eyelet and fit it here. And on that chain I'm gonna fix all these small parts. So I do have fixed my mini tacks here. I can make sure that it will don't get open by folding it this way. But I like it more than it's hanging on the other half, you know. <laughs> and I do have mini tucks fixed on these, so I can just place them inside. You can add their three. Some nice chocolate and close it. And you do have your box done. like this. We have it here with number 31 and October. It's just got twisted so much. So number 31 and October. You can fold it even even more. And I forgot to add the, a little bit of darkness. So this way and I do have picking out the cheesecloth everywhere because I think it looks so cool. I'm gonna pull it out. Or you can take these large tags, leave chocolate inside, and with these large tags, you can create a mini journal. 
So I do have here prepared bunch of papers and I'm going to fold them to the size I can fit into this coffin shape. So I'm thinking somewhere here. Then I'm going to put that coffin with this long straight side to the fold of my page and draw the pattern. And fold it like this. I'm gonna fussy cut out this piece and I'm gonna do same with all other papers I prepared. So I do have opening here on that long side and I will do this cutting with all of my papers. So I'm gonna fold them, cut this, the shape and then I will come back. So I do have a few of my papers cut into the, the size of the tag and I'm gonna place them somehow to one signature. Maybe this way. I do have one signature with all kinds of different papers. <clears throat> I do have my two tags and I was thinking this could be really beautiful as a cover and this one I will have as a back, uh, back cover. So I'm gonna put these together with the small gap between. Uh, I'm gonna take this medical tape and I'm gonna add that medical tape on one tag first. And flip it over and add the other tack with that gap between. It doesn't have to be big gap. Just good to have that small little space. Like this. I'm gonna fold this over. And I'm gonna add that medical tape from this side as well. gonna cut one more time here on the side you know that excess of medical tape and distress it a little bit so I do have front and back cover now I can take a needle and thread but because I wanna sew this book um, I will add there also fabric tape. Maybe I should start with that. I'm going to add here inside fabric tape to make sure, uh, you know, it will don't get ripped off because that medical tape, it is paper. It's strong, but still it is paper. So I'm just going to rip a piece of this medical tape. Big enough to glue my front and back cover so i'm gonna stick there my medical tape fold it cut these extras on the top and on the bottom i can also distress it too much all together and now i can take my pages put them inside to make sure it will hold until I will be done with sewing I'm gonna clip the pages together with the cover here I'm gonna poke three holes two holes for easy sewing I think two holes will be enough for this small booklet so I'm gonna poke two holes through here and one here and just very easily sew it all together I'm gonna start from inside go outside and back to inside 
And that way you do have really cute small October Halloween notepad. Then you can add it to your treat box. And you have perfect gift. You can write inside some message or <clears throat> write there party invitation and then you are done so this is my sharing for today i do hope you did enjoy it i hope you will enjoy these uh these digitals and you will create your treat boxes maybe also these little uh journals this is my sharing for today thank you so so much for visiting me today thank you so much for spending your time with me have a beautiful day get ready for halloween and i will see you soon bye